Welcome back to the UK Brick Builder channel. Uh, I've got a Bricklink Hall video coming up and what I bought in the meantime because there are some bits that I do need but they're not going to be here for a while because they're coming from abroad uh, was a vintage job lot um, this was on eBay um, and pre uh, opened it to take out any paperwork but it is literally all just vintage stuff in varying states uh, as you can see uh, some of it is probably beyond help but there's a lot of vintage windows and, um, some nice old car build parts uh, there's even some non lego so we'll remove that um, but what I thought I would do quickly was just sort of see what I've got um, Obviously we've got some broken bits as well, uh, got some classic space, uh, varying selection of windows, uh, some of which I might use, I might well end up building a old style house for my city when I get around to it, uh, there's a lot of it which is obviously very old and has got broken over the years but I didn't pay a lot for this at all uh, that's not Lego that looks like space um, I believe that's very early Lego but again it's, it's broken so I'm not too worried about that um, again broken but I believe that was Probably something that went with these wheels, which are the axle is very badly bent. Um, I can't remember what that's from offhand. But there is a lot of random broken bits, some odd old bits of minifigure, really old non printed. Yellow heads. Um, that even looks like a bit of old Meccano. Um, but uh, not really sure how much of this is going to be usable for a lot of parts. Um, but I will certainly make use of some of it. Uh, definitely got some old vintage space bits in here. That's a good sign. Um, old truck chassis and some bits from some of the real old stuff. Uh, that's non Lego. Nice old flowers. Some more vintage grey. Two by two tiles. I like using those in my in my city because they give the effect of some of it being older than others. And another boat hole which will probably end up being binned. Uh, that's broken as well, so that can go. Um, but I will go through this and um, some very clever little single windows another one of these vehicle chassis this one's broken but generally usable uh, old chimney parts some more vintage space 
Uh, what I think I might just do is try and pour a of the old there. Right, so his legs have lost all all strength. Got to one of the old wind-up motors complete with key. And it still works. Oh, brilliant. The old Lego chassis. more broken tiles and bits and pieces but I'm not too worried about those um, I shall certainly be using the non-broken ones for um, mill plates but uh, I really paid next to nothing for this um, I think all in it, it worked out at about 12 or 13 pounds fully posted um, mainly based on the fact that it was a lot of broken bits um, there were a couple of bits in the pictures that I saw that really stood out to me um, just looking to see if I can find those. Uh, obviously, the boat chassis parts are pretty much all dead. Um, and a bit of string wrapped up with a couple of Lego bits, so I'll cut those off a bit. Uh, a couple more non Lego parts. Uh, there was some odd part built. That looks like you knew that was newer than a lot of the rest of it. Um, some of these old Duplo sort of size house parts. Um, they might not actually be Duplo, they might be. Um, I can't for the life remember the name bit of hand at the moment, but the same original Lego series as this guy's from. Um, so long since I've had some of those. But I do have a few others. Um, that's part of one of the vehicles. Um, but yeah, there is definitely some. Good bits in here. We've got some old printed tiles. Ah, this was one of the bits that jumped out at me. Um, this is a very early, early door. Um, the one to sit on studs. I did a little bit of research from the pictures. Um, before I got it, I believe that was from one of the very early post office sets. Um, but I will double check that. Um, but yeah, this is generally what I need to sort through. Yeah, there are some random newer bits. So the owner of this bundle was obviously still a Lego fan more recently. Um, but I will have fun sorting, getting rid of all the, the broken bits. Um, and I shall come back very soon and show you what I got. Okay, so I have had a sort out and we are now off of the stand. And I shall just run through some of the bits and pieces that we got. Uh, so these are Fabuland bits to go with the two vehicle chassis that are in the background. Uh, we have a selection of 
original early minifigure legs and a couple of heads and a few of the very early well one very early head piece um, some of the early flowers um, selection of the early grey tiles a couple of nice printed Lego pieces um, some early fencing these I'm just going to use for Mills plating along with a load of those bits and then I have a huge selection of early windows uh, not 100% certain what I'm going to do with those as yet but for now I'll have a proper go through them at some point um, the rest of it I have just into one of these for now and I shall just colour sort them probably over the weekend um, but the real standout bits were these which I wasn't expecting to get these were caught up with the paperwork that I, I dug out before I opened the packaging on the video so this is a very early um, looking at this dated 1992 Lego service parts catalogue so these are a list of parts that you can order or could order at the time as accessory bundles uh, so I have two of these uh, I think these are probably similar years looking at the parts in some of them uh, and then that's the and then this is my real favorite because I used to have this train set when I was a lot younger um, so we have One of the very early, this was about 1984, 85, I believe. Yeah, one of the very early booklets that showed all the original train sets and expansion packs that you could get for them. Um, and also, Back in the day, showed you the alternate models that you could build with the sets. Uh, and as was usual with Lego back in the day, they used to give you ideas as to what you could do. Um, it was a very good set for lighting up. It was very popular back in the day. But uh, it was a very nice booklet. And obviously also, again, some of the parts bits that you can order afterwards. And then, like always, we get a bit of a overview of the other themes that LEGO do. Uh, so, this was my miniature vintage Parts haul over the that I picked up at the weekend, um, and will possibly sort a bit better and do something proper with over the next couple of weeks. Um, like I say, most of the main brick bits will either go into Mills plates or my brick wall that I'm building, um, and then the smaller bits will get used. And either some of these I might put on my Bricklink store, uh, which is the same name as the channel. So if you want to see more of my videos, then please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye.